Carolina Blitz is brought to you in part by South End Brewery and Smokehouse and by City Chevrolet. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're here at South End Brewery and Smokehouse in Charlotte, and we'd like to take care of a little bit more business. We'd like to thank some friends, uh, say congratulations to some friends of ours. We would like to congratulate the ladies of the Charlotte Sting for having a wonderful season. Very well. It is my pleasure now to bring to you, uh, I'm a fan, I'm a fan, Jim Stonefeld from Hootie and the Blowfish. Thank you. Welcome, my friend. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Well, let's talk, let's talk, let's take care. We need to say something to Debbie so she'll let you come out and play again. My lovely wife let me come out and play tonight, like she always does. <laughs> Gotta say thank you. She's holding my hand up there, making sure I don't get nervous. There you go. There you go. Tell me what's going on with the guys. What's going on? We're uh, taking the summer off, uh, writing some new songs and golfing a lot. And now the NFL season here. We've been uh, spent the first week in Erickson Stadium, and I think Darius actually went to three games this weekend. Tough, tough. Now you and I have the same conflict this week. Um, you and I are both from the Washington D.C. area. You and I are friends of certain players from the Carolina Panthers, and we also had the conflict of who to root for. What'd you do? Well. I wasn't rude, I wasn't mean. <laughs> there was some red on my shirt, but I was, uh, I was a pretty good neutral Redskins fan for the day. We just hope this only happens only one time a year, can't though. Have, can't have it anymore, can't have it anymore. Now, you guys host a little thing called Monday After the Masters. Give the fans a little bit of what, what it's like. Uh, it's a golf tournament we run in Columbia, South Carolina, uh, benefiting minority golf and junior golf. Uh, we bring our friends from the PGA in, a lot of our football friends, mm -hmm. and uh, try and raise as much money as we can in one day. And you folks just spent a little weekend in Raleigh up at the Jimmy V Classic. Yeah. What's that like? That is a great tournament. That's something we would yeah. uh, hope to be like one day. They raise uh, just a lot of money for a great uh, cancer foundation. And, uh, you know, we're learning lessons from them every day when we go up there. Now we got to bust some chops because, as you said, Darius saw a lot of football this weekend. And your manager, Rusty, is a Cowboys fan. How do you put up with that? That's a bad word. I know. <laughs> I, here's how we put up with it. We make him stay up in the balcony today. <laughs> He can't help it. He can't help it. Where's Darius at? You say you saw the Packers game last night. He went to the Packers game. I think he was at the Dolphins game Sunday afternoon as oh. well. He's been spending time with his daughter, and uh, you know everybody's been at home with the family a lot. Mm. And now that the season's here, we're going to be in the stadiums a lot. We're going to go to an old friend of, of, of both of your, both of ours. We're both Redskins fans. We met this young man while we were both in Washington, folks. We're going to go poolside with a very large gentleman, formerly of the Washington Redskins. Now the Carolina Panthers, folks, we're going to introduce you to Matt Elliott, up close and personal. Let's, let's speak of the boys from Columbia. The boys from Columbia? Darius. Mark, Dean, Jim, Darius. Talk about it. In order. In order. Darius. In, Dar <laughs> D. Um, a trip. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the kid's just a trip. And, and I call him a kid, and he's, he's three or four years older than me. Yeah. Met them up in D.C. You know, I, I was a Redskin. Three of those guys grew up in huge Redskins fans. I met Mark, and I was, you know, the rookie, the big rookie with the Redskins. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, he he was more impressed to meet me than than I than I of him. Mm -hmm. I caught I caught an outdoor concert of theirs. I was like, yo, these guys are kind of cool. I'm digging this. You know, <laughs> at first it was mutual respect. A couple years ago, now it's turned into. A real good friendship because I know what they stand for. I, I think I think I do. We're not out to impress anyone. They're having fun doing what they're doing. They happen to be good at it, so they're having fun doing it. Well, let's talk. You, know, you played for one of the best, Joe Gibbs, without question. Uh, and I saw a letter that he wrote to you right after you were drafted. What are your thoughts about Joe? I I. I'm saddened that I only got to play one year for him now that I know and realize what he was as a head coach. What I now realize with Gibbs, you had you know the, the meticulous preparation, um, not unlike Dom Capers. I was going to ask you to compare the two. Meticulous preparation. Wow. Um, and a simple set of rules and strict adherence to the rules. I'll tell you, with Dom Capers, um, you can have a couple mental errors if you're going hard. Mm -hmm. you, you can get away with that if you're to every meeting on time. Uh, as soon as you're late to a meeting, you can kiss your butt goodbye. Right. Let's reminisce a little bit. 
go back to your Washington days and some of the guys that you, you met, some of the guys you got to hang out with. Jeff Bostic, <laughs> Roscoe. Very first game at active roster with the Redskins. It's I'm in the back seat of, of Bostic's Jeep Cherokee. He's driving, Jake's in the passenger seat, and we're driving to, uh, to RFK. And we're driving down Constitution right by the Washington Monument. And Roscoe goes, Matthew. Yes? You know how tall that is? I kind of look out the window like, about 500 feet? No. 555. Never said another <laughs> word to me. Not another word the rest of the day. I went, you know, in a couple of years, I'm going to realize what he meant by that. <laughs> Jeff Gordon's a friend of yours. Ray Abraham's a good friend of yours. Your immediate impressions of Jeff. Jeff, um, he's a natural driver. You know, it, it, it's funny. You know, people talk about, well, this guy's a natural surfer, a natural skier, a lot of that. Well, yeah, that, those are recreational things. Most 12-year-old kids don't hop into a midget car and <laughs> go win a, uh, a, 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 a big race. Now, we have to realize that Jeff just won you know, one million dollars. A million dollars. So. Once in a million. So let's give Jeff a special, our, our friend, our dear, dear friend Jeff, let's give him a special message from the guys in Fat Guy. So Jeff, you a stud. <laughs> you the man, okay? You, I got my eye on you. What do you think? What do you, what do you think of the big guy? Big guy. I called him big guy the first time I met him, and I think since he didn't know me, he got he let me get away with it. Because yeah. last year when I called him big guy when we were down here, he held me upside down. Tell everybody, everybody out there, next album. Next album, uh, 1998. I hope. I think so we're all on the same page in the band. Yeah, we're gonna put out some new music and and uh, hope it does good. Jim, thank you very much. Cheers. Folks from South Embrewing Smokehouse, you are being blitzed. Woo!